Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about a message, a memo, a video, and a kingdom. And we're just going to go through some information that has come out and see if anything is connected. A few days ago, I put out a video that talked about how countries in general, but the United States specifically in the video, get ready to engage in a foreign policy shift in, in the steps that they take. This video might be worth watching before you watch this. If you haven't already seen it, it's the one about the fictional kingdom of Denovia. Okay, so that's the video. Now let's move on to the memo. A memo was, quote, leaked from State Department, wound up in the hands of the press. Now, right now, all of the coverage is about the fact that some components within State Department, they are less than believing of assurances given by Netanyahu's government. And they say that they don't... Uh, find them, quote, credible or reliable. That's what most of the coverage is on right now. Now, it's worth noting that that is some components within State Department. Some are willing to accept the assurances. Some don't take a position at all. But that's what the coverage is on. The thing is, that memo is not just like four lines long. It also contains something else. It contains a list of, I think, eight potential violations of international humanitarian law and 11 instances of potential violations. Um, but that's not really getting a lot of coverage yet. But it's in the memo that is now in the hands of the press. Okay, so that's the memo. Now let's go to the message, which is pretty short and sweet. Dude, WTF is the leaked State Department memo, the list about the Kingdom of Denovia. You mean, is the list detailing the exact kind of information that I said was going to come out, coming from the exact agency I said it was going to come from, while a senator was making the same type of statements I said were going to be made, all happening within, what, 48 hours of that video going out, is that connected? I mean, honestly, I don't know. I can't prove that, but that would be a really weird coincidence if it wasn't, right? It's, it's how they do it. It's how they do it. Um, Leaking the information, that's new. That's new. I don't think I've seen that before. Normally it comes out in like press release fashion. Um, but that serves another purpose in this case. Because if it leaks, not just as the press get the list of incidents that they might need to talk about at a later point in time, but it also sends a very public signal that that information is out. Um, so that's new, assuming that this was intentional. Again, can't prove that, but I mean, that would be a really, really weird coincidence. Uh, especially having Senator Sanders make the statements that he made around the same time just like is described in the video. Um, it, it's a pattern. It, it's, what, it's what they do. Um, so what does this mean? It means that, like I said in that video, I don't know if it'll work, but this is the move. This is what they're doing. This is how they are trying to apply pressure because they don't actually want to sever the relationship, but they have this card that they can they can play. The obvious question is, well, what's the time frame? I don't know. Uh, if I had to guess, May 8th, and that's not just a random number, on May 8th, the report 
about this type of thing is supposed to go to Congress. They would want it, uh, they would want some kind of movement on it before that report goes, because whether or not there is movement might, it might influence how, how specific that report is. Or it may include, hey, these things happened, but they have since changed their ways. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that it certainly seems like it. Again, I, I can't prove that, but it, it fits, it tracks. Um, for those that haven't seen the video, understand it's a long one. I didn't want to recap the whole thing. But the short version is that oftentimes the U.S. government will put out information and get it into the hands of the press so they can then put together stories that go out to the public and kind of ready the public for any potential changes that might need to be made when it comes to foreign policy. So anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.